Hey everyone, welcome back from break. I've been longing for some hockey action, how about you? Hope you had a relaxing boxing day, let's get right into it. First up is about the World Juniors Tournament going on right now. The event started yesterday the 26th and the team rosters were released on Tuesday the 25th. This features prominent NHL prospects who you might see in the draft very soon. Many of these players are CHL and AHL level with two NHL players playing in it currently. Some drafted, some not. It's really interesting to watch if you haven't already. And yesterday's results were Czech Republic beating Switzerland 2-1, the United States beating Slovakia 2-1, Sweden beating Finland 2-1, and Canada beating Denmark 14-0. Here is the next part of the Carlson story where the NHL ruled a two-game suspension for Eric Carlson for his illegal hit on Kings forward Austin Wagner. Next, forward Ryan Hartman of the Predators has been fined $1,000 for spearing Chris Wagner of the Boston Bruins. Hartman used his stick to jab Wagner's chest and was fined yesterday for the action. And finally, the All-Star team captains have been announced. For the Metropolitan Division, Washington Washington Capitals captain Alex Ovechkin has been nominated, and for the Atlantic Division, Toronto Maple Leafs forward Austin Matthews is nominated. Over to the Western Conference, Nathan McKinnon of the Colorado Avalanche is ready to take on the role, and in the Pacific Division, Edmonton Oilers captain Connor McDavid is ready to return to the All-Star Game as captain. Lastly, Senators goaltender Craig Anderson is out for a while with a concussion. Anderson was playing Friday and left the game late. This is not what the Senators need, though, as their goaltending depth is low past Anderson. And uh, to predictions, a well-deserved rest for some, we have the Devils and the Bruins. Despite it all, the Devils are still struggling and can't get their goaltender situation figured out, which will allow Boston to score a bunch as New Jersey is not able to. Columbus is coming off a rest with four games in a row winning and the Rangers need to be ready for it. Lundqvist needs a lot of support the way they play without Shattenkirk in their defense. The Red Wings held their own pretty well against the Maple Leafs this weekend despite it all being crushed by bad goaltending, and this is a bold pick and I think the Penguins won't expect the quick offense of the Wings that they've been putting together. The Canes are coming off a win, and it was probably just the novelty of the Whalers' night celebrations. Now back to reality, the Capitals, with Metropolitan Captain Alex Ovechkin present, probably get the win handily. The Flyers' new goaltender Carter Hart is nothing to scoff at, but that won't be enough to stop the offensive lines like Tampa with guys like Point and Gord. They'll put up a fight, I hope. The Sabres are still trying to find consistency after falling flat following a huge winning streak, and this could be an easy stepping stone for them. The Blues are still without Petrangelo, and they've showed it. Predators haven't gotten a break in a while, and that shouldn't stop Dallas, who've been on an upward spiral right now. Since Klingberg returned, it's been easy for them to find wins. First and second in the Western Conference here. Even if Winnipeg loses, they'll still lead the conference, but the Flames want this, and the Jets aren't going to give it to them easy, or at all. Minnesota's been struggling too much without Koivu and Dumba in the lineup, and the Blackhawks are ready to take advantage of it. The Blackhawks themselves have been more consistent, and they need to show that tonight. The Oilers have been losing a bit recently, but so have the Canucks. The Canucks might have the edge, though, just based on the Oilers' likely changing strategy after losing three straight. The Golden Knights have been strangely losing games they really should be winning, and this is a contested one, so they might not sneak out easy. Both of these teams are not great, but they've each won a lot recently. This is actually going to be an interesting game, and the Kings might be able to get away with this win. Injuries might be taking a toll on the Ducks with their goalie and leading scorer out, and the Sharks can capitalize. The Ducks have lost three straight, and they're probably on their guard a little bit. With stats, Brantanen has 59 points and 43 assists, and Ovechkin has 29 goals. In plus-minus, after a high-scoring game versus Detroit on Sunday. Morgan Riley takes the lead with a plus 26. Rene has a 2.15 goals against average. Meanwhile, Yaroslav Halak leads in save percentage with a 93%. Wins is contested between Mark andre Fleury of Vegas and Freddie Anderson of Toronto, both with 20, and Fleury still leads in shutouts. Thanks for watching this episode of Hockey Bar returning after the break. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss updates now that we're back up. Again, thanks for watching. I'm Tiernan Smith. We hope to see you again.